So students, today we are going to start with exercise 2.5. Question number 1. x by 2 minus 1 by 5 is equal to x by 3 plus 1 by 4. x by 2 minus 1 by 5 is equal to x by 3 plus 1 by 4. Now, this one is constant. So, we will transpose it to the RHS side. This one is variable, so we transpose it to the LHS side. So, x by 2 minus x by 3 equal to 1 by 4. This minus 1 by 5 will be transposed to the RHS side. So, it will be plus 1 by 5. Now, here LCM of 2 and 3 will be 6. So, we will multiply this 3 by 2 and 2 by 3. So, 3 into x will be 3x upon 6 minus 2 into x will be 2x upon 6 equal to here 4 and 5 LCM will be 20. So, 4 will multiply with 5. 5 is going to multiply by 4. So, 5 ones are 5 by 20 plus 4 ones are 4 by 20. Now, here both the LCM are same. So, we will write it only one time. So, 3x minus 2x upon 6 equal to 5 plus 4 upon 20. Then 3x minus 2x will be 1x upon 6 and 5 plus 4 will be 9 by 20. Then the 6 is going to transpose to the RHS side. So, 1x is equal to 9 multiply 6 upon 20. Now, in 2 table, 3 times, 2 table, 10 times. So, 9 3 is a 27 upon 10. So, this is the value of x. x is equal to 27 upon 10. Now, the next one. The second one is your homework. You have to solve this by your own. Then, question number 3. That is, x plus 7 minus 8x upon 3 is equal to 17 upon 6 minus 5x by 2. Now, see this one is constant and this one is constant. So, we will transpose this two number to the RHS side and this 5x by 2, 8x by 3 and x will be on the LHS side. So, x minus 8x by 3, there will be no change in this sign because it is in LHS side. Now, this minus 5x by 2 is transposing to the LHS side. So, it will become plus 5x by 2 equal to 17 upon 6. And this plus 7 is going to transpose to the RHS side. So, it will become minus 7. Now, below this x, take denominator as 1 and below 7, take denominator as 1. Now, here see 1, 3 and 2. The LCM for this number will be 6. So, we are going to multiply this by 6 plus 3 by 2, this 2 by 3. So, 6 into x will be 6x upon 6. 8 into 2 will be 16x upon 6. And 5 into 3 will be 15x upon 6 is equal to 6 and 1 LCM will be 6. So, we will multiply this 1 by 6. So, 17 upon 6 minus 7, 6, 42 upon 6. Now, so that's why I write it only one time. So, 6x minus 16x plus 15x is equal to 17 minus 42 upon 6. Okay. Then, 6x minus 16x will be minus 10x plus 15x upon 6 is equal to 17 minus 42 upon 6. Then minus 10x plus 15. So plus minus minus sign of big digit. So here big digit is 15. So sign will be plus and 15 minus 10 will be 5x. So 5x upon 6 is equal to 17 minus 42 upon 6. Then 5x upon 6. 5x upon 6 is equal to minus 25 
by 6. Now we will transpose this 5 to the denominator and this to the numerator. So x is equal to minus 25 multiply 6 upon 5 multiply 6. 6, 6 cancel out. 5 ones are 5, 5 is up. So the value of x is equal to minus 5. Then the next question, this fourth one, this one is your homework. Then let's start with the fifth one. So the fifth question is 3t minus 2 upon 4 minus 2t plus 3 upon 3 is equal to 2 by 3 minus t. Now see, LCM for 3 and 4 will be 12. So, we will multiply this 3 by 4. So, we have to multiply this both number with 4 and here this 4 is going to multiply by 3. So, we will multiply this both number also by 3. So, and here below this t write down 1. So, here the LCM will be 3. So, we'll multiply this 1 by 3. Now, see 3 into 3 will be 90. 3 to the 6 upon 12 minus 4 to the 80, 4 3 the 12 upon 12 is equal to 2 by 3 minus 3 t by 3. Now remember one thing here that whenever there is minus sign in front of any two variable written in this form, then you must have to change the sign of the bracket numbers whatever the number are present in the bracket you have to change their sign so after opening the bracket so 90 minus 6 minus 80 plus 12 upon 12 is equal to 2 minus 3t upon 3 then here 90 minus 6 now we are opening the bracket so that's why here it will be minus 8t and minus plus minus 12 upon 12 is equal to 2 minus 3t upon 3. Then 90 minus 8t will be this 2. 90 minus 8t will be 1t. Minus 6 minus 12 minus minus plus but sign of minus. So 12 plus 6 will be 18 upon 12 is equal to 2 minus 3t upon 3. Then this 3 is going to be transposed to LHS side and this 12 is going to be transposed to the RHS side. So 3 is going to multiply with this number and 12 is going to multiply with this bracket number. Then 3 into 1 will be 3t. Then 18 3 is a 54 is equal to 12 2 is a 24 and 12 3 is a 3060. Now this variable is transposing to the LHS side and this constant is transposing to the RHS side. So 3t minus 3060. 3t minus 3060 so minus 36 will become plus 36t is equal to 24 plus 54. Now 36 plus 3 will be 39t and 50 plus 20, 70, 70. 8. So, t is equal to 78 upon 39. 39 ones are 39, 2s are. So, we got the t value as 2. So next question number 6. This one is your homework. So, question number 2, question number 4 and question number 6 is your home assignment. Try to solve this question by yourself. In next class, we are going to begin with question number 7.